After Governor Christie left, Mayor Brian Stack talked about a number of issues that have been plaguing him in media recently. For one, he talked about the Jersey Journal story that talked about an alleged fraudulent $2.8 million he added to the city's budget. Stack indicated that Union City had taken all the necessary steps in order to obtain the $2.8 million grant, ripping the Jersey Journal and Union City Concerned Citizens Group attorney Eric Dixon for stating or implying otherwise. Obviously, those people from that is so, so called attorney out of North Bergen that's put up by my opposition obviously doesn't understand a grant is anticipated. This is an introduced budget, it's not an adopted budget, and I'm guaranteeing you the work will be done as we've always been. We couldn't use a grant anyhow. This is how much they don't know, and it's sad. This is how much they really don't know, and I'm sure the Jersey Journal will be printing a retraction because of irresponsible reporting. You can't use grant money to fill a budget hole anyhow. If the grant money wasn't used, or if the grant didn't come through, the budget is not affected by it. Grants are a separate item in the budget, and that's obvious. I think somebody that's obviously in school, in grade school, would understand that. This is a municipal budget. A grant has no bearing on a municipal budget. Did you either apply the, either, for the grant? Either the, we have. Either the money gets spent or it doesn't get spent. I'm sorry. Uh, either the money gets spent or it doesn't get spent. You have this anticipation that's in your budget. The budget is only introduced. At the time of adoption, of course I would have a letter from the Port Authority. Of course I would have a letter on my state aid. We're responsible here in Union City. Dixon was present when Stack made his comments to the media and indicated that he still felt this was a matter that needed to be investigated further. As a matter of fact, he said he took the matter to the U.S. Attorney General, though he was unclear as to what exactly the next step was. He has already presented the matter to the State Comptroller's Office, who declined to investigate the matter. We've made some, some inquiries to the U.S. Attorney's Office. The reason we've done that is because, inquiries? well, we've, we've, we've had communication, that's all I can say. That, to be honest, at this point, to respect the process. An emailed statement from Lisa Ryan, a spokeswoman for the Department of Community Affairs, seconded the notion that Union City did nothing wrong. An excerpt states that Union City has not yet adopted a budget, the DCA's Division of Local Government Services has not yet approved adoption of the city's budget, and in the city's proposed budget, the anticipated grant could not be used for general budgetary relief. She also stated that the extensive package put together by Dixon has several inaccuracies. Dixon alleges that there is no such grant and there never was in a letter sent to various media outlets last Monday. The attorney, a North Bergen resident, points to the fact that there was no record of correspondence between the Port Authority and Union City. There is a letter from Governor Christie addressed to David Sampson, the chairman of the Port Authority, dated June 6, 2012. According to this letter, $1.6 million will be used to fund construction for New York Avenue between 18th Street to 30th Street. The additional $1.275 million will then be allocated to the construction costs of New York Avenue between 31st Street and 48th Street. The official reason the Port Authority supports the project is because the roads run into the Lincoln Tunnel. However, 31st Street to 48th Street are one-way streets that lead away from the tunnel. In a follow-up story by the Journal on Friday, an anonymous source from the Port Authority said they had given Union City the loan after all. I'm John Hyde, this is County TV. For more information, log on to countytv.com.